Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our Iron Teeth in update 5 and hard mode. We have just finished a bad tide. Uh, no, it dropped. Sorry. It dropped. The water has come back just in time. Can we run out? We ran out of water. Hmm. I think we have a problem of uh, I'm not storing enough water during the, uh, the wet seasons. Or more importantly, it's taken ages to fill this. And because I got rid of all the um, pumps in here, it's not pumping it out yet. So... Might have to put a pump or two back in there. I'm trying to fill this in and get this done over here. I decided to uh, change up the extractors and blow up some holes along here. Because it wasn't working, basically. Um, the, uh, the extractors are taking too long to build. The excavators are taking too long to build because they require lots of gears. We don't have gears. So, yeah. Um, however, we need extracts because extract is a problem. Uh, we're making it, but we're not. We're running the store in a little tiny bit there, um, and not even down here. So, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to swap this one over to be extract to get going. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how it works. Uh, I did want to try and blow this up and get this all done and sorted beforehand, but I need at least one excavator working because I realised I need to fill this in here this path in here, this in here this is too low that's where we want to go to it's um like too too low i think do 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 yeah one one too low so <laughs> yeah uh it will have to be um oh oh i've run out too, no i haven't run out too big no it needs to be it needs to be um levies actually doesn't it yes yes of course it does so that actually kind of fixes that problem. Hey. Why did you not? Why did you not do that? But um, yeah, that kind of fixes that problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Let me just move that over by one. And then we're kind of good. I think we're kind of good. We can we can figure out getting this connected directly with explosives. I just need more extract because I use loads of explosives to blow up here, and because I did that, the extract wasn't being sent to the breeding pods, so we ran out of beavers. The beavers have dropped. Well, we're, we're doing well again now, but they did they did drop. We did struggle. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get everything working and going and doing the stuffs that we need them to do. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, I do have a couple of mods installed. I mentioned last episode, or episode before, that uh, now update five is stable and we want some mods installed. We want to get going. Um, I have installed the mod that gets rid of the pathing thing. You know, when you bring up a path, um, it tells you how far you are away from the district. It still tells you, but it doesn't have the line. It makes the game run so much smoother. I did have issues with it though. It wouldn't run. I installed it and it wouldn't work. It just kept throwing an error. The issue is that if you if you're trying to mod the game and you obviously you get the uh, the mod manager installed and you install the path extension, the, uh, the path extension, high path range mod. It installs the wrong version by default. You have to go in and manually change it to version 5 because it downloads version 4 by default for some reason. I don't know why, it just does that. So you change it to version 5 and yeah, you can then get that gone there. Um, so that's awesome. We also ha have housing optimizer installed. So now our beavers should move to the correct houses which are close to their workplace. Don't think it's working. If I'm going to be entirely honest with you, I'm not entirely convinced it's working. Uh, because I would have expected like these houses back here to be completely empty. And they're not. So yeah. Although it doesn't look like any houses are empty, to be honest with you. I think they're all full. They just don't have kits in them right now. So hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I would have expected them nice. Uh that's, that's I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is working, maybe it's not working. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. We we will find out. We will find out very soon. Um, probably when loads of beavers die off because they're going to die of thirst because I don't think the water's going to get around here fast enough. Uh, I should really fill in the lower layer on this to get it to fill up there, but we've run out of uh, uh, dirt. We have no dirt, so four more gears and we can get some dirt going, which would be awesome. Um, right, so what else is it we kind of do here? Uh, what other mods do I have installed? I have uh, the rotating sun, so the, cat, the sun no longer turns with the camera. I think this is quality. I've not installed any mods that uh, desperately change the game. With one exception. 
I just added stuff that's quality of life. And there's no added buildings, there's no added everything, there's no, nothing like that at all. Uh, the only one that I have added, which is going to be kind of a game changer, um, is we have simple triggers installed. So we can now find our pumps to triggers. Um, so we can turn them off when the water gets too low. So the beavers aren't working in here when there's no when the water is too low. So, so let's do that now. If we can, I need to put in a stream gauge somewhere. I was thinking put it on the end here, but they can't reach this. This is too far away from the edges, so they can't reach here. Perfect place for it, but we can't reach there. There's no way to get into that that I know of. I can't see any way to. Uh... Yeah, there's just no, there's just no way to get there. So we, we, we won't do that. We'll do it. We'll do it over here somewhere. I think it makes sense to put it down here somewhere. But on the end, it makes sense to my head because that's where we're pumping along. So, hmm. can I get there? Is there any way I can get there? To um, to do that. Is there any way I can get up and over this? This even if it's a temporary, a weird temporary like build. Uh, I think we have to go is it three high for this. Yes, yeah, three high. We have to go three high. Then we can put in a suspension bridge like this. Dumb. And that will allow us to build in the centre here. Because they can always they can reach down, they can't reach up. So I think we'll do we'll do this. We'll do this, which is a kind of a waste, but I want to put it in that edge. I want to put it down there. So um that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it down there. And what I want to do is let's go down there. Zoop. Um so, pause the game a moment. There's no water coming into this at the moment, is there? The, water, oh, the water's just started pouring in here. Okay. But none of the pumps, I think, have access to the water yet, do they? Go down. No. So, we want to go up to... this height that's where the pumps are at the lowest point this is very weird getting in here trying to do this but um if i if i was to put in a triple platform you make it and have a look we need to go one higher one higher so if we go if we, we go with a one higher like that and we'll basically say oh no we want to go two higher actually like too high like that Boom. and then for the stream gauge in on top of this uh, uh no no we want to go one higher we put a stream gauge in on top of this which is uh yeah i forgot where they were but on like that and what we'll say is if this stream gauge is under one height because stream gauge can go from one to i think oh, one, two, three, is it four? Three. I think that's three. But if it's under one height, then we want to turn off all our pumps. That's what we want to do. It's under one. So, okay. Go, 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 go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, now all I need to do is connect them all up. And this is this is kind of the awkward part. I need to click this and click the screen gauge. But it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist yet. So we need to do that. And I need to do that to each and every one of them. And basically tell them if stream gauge is under one, turn off. So if the water's dropped down below the range of the pumps, turn them off. You can set them onto timers. Um you can put them into basics. So I could just say, hey, when a drought starts, just turn off, but we don't want that. We actually want to be pumping water up to the point where there's no water left in there. So yeah. And yes, it does mean they will be enabled during a during a bad tide. Because during a bad tide the water will be higher. But that's absolutely fine because they can still sometimes pump water out of the higher ones, so that's fine. Uh, what I should have done is I shouldn't have made the uh, the thing so deep. I should have made it um, only six deep. Uh, we could do that here, but I'm not going to. I think we're just going to put the excavators in and let this mine out all the way. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So would you come and build this? I know we've got planks. We've got plenty of planks. 
No, you can build this. Why you not build this? Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. There's no rush. There's no rush. Build more things. You're building this over here. That's fine. Uh, the water's coming. The pumps are pumping. Awesome. There you go. Sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we can get some excavator going and get some dirt and then fill in the rest of this here. I started doing this over here to fill this all in. Just to try and have a little bit less water it needs to send over. So that's fine. And then we can if we get a decent supply of extract. I'm going to wait for a decent supply of extract before we do anything. I might turn these pumps off over here. Unfortunately, we can't associate these with a storage, so I can't say, hey, if the storage is full, turn on or off. It's just, it doesn't, it just doesn't, doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we can't associate them with the storage, which is, which is a bit of a shame, a bit of a shame, but, um, yeah, yeah probably there's an advanced trigger that can do that, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we get some explosive and we'll, we'll take out this edge here, and then we'll figure out how to channel all the water this way, if it will fit. Hopefully it will. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping it will. I'm hoping all the water that's being generated here will be able to get down this channel and go. That'd be fantastic. Um, I should probably also uh, blow out this here. Because if we don't, then uh, that's going to cause problems. It's only too wide for the minute because of this here, but I need to leave this here to run the excavator for a bit, so but it's it's fine, it's fine. We're going to have water traps and things, and then we'll sort it out later. It's just temporarily, right now, we need to uh, just kind of get it working. They can't get to these at all, but they will be able to get to these once we put stuff in because we can path along, so that's fine. Okay, okay. I'm going to leave this running for a little bit. Um, they should all be okay for water. That'll be fine. We get the stream gauge thing built on the end, and I shall connect the stream gauges up to all of these, which is going to be a bit of an effort, but we will do. And then we shall come back. Um, once we've got a decent amount of extract so that we can blow the end up here, and hopefully this episode, we can get the water going down our water channel. That would be nice. Okay. That was a lot of effort. That was a lot of effort. Um, there's no way to copy and paste the stuff from these. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I had to go for each one, sync each one up with the um, slide here, the uh, stream gauge here. And then go through and set each one to pause when it's under and pause that. I did move this, the uh, gauge up by one, so it's actually higher. Um, than the uh, than it was before. It's one one above where it was before, because trying to set these, you have to drag them. You can't just type in numbers. You have to drag them, and trying to get it exactly right, and then trying to get this ones. And I just, no, I'm just going to move the stream gauge up by one. The stream gauge up by one. Sorry. Um, and then when the stream gauge ends up uh, down at zero, that is when this is six deep. So if it's under zero, they turn off, which it does. And when it's over zero, they turn on. They have turned on because they were all turned off. So I know it's working, which is great. We have also extended this out here and blown this up here. Um, I had to shut these um, and uh, um, actually have them close and divert the bad water this way because I blew this here up here and then went, oh, water can get through here. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, so, yeah. So we had to do that, but that's fine. That's fine. So this, and it's all working. It's all working. It's all doing, we're doing wonders. So we're, uh, we're pumping the water and when the water drops down below uh, level six, all of these will pause and all the beavers will become unemployed. Yeah. So, awesome. Awesome. So what we're going to do is get this done. Let's get this done. So, I'm going to slow the game down because I want to make sure it's... Uh, so let's detonate these. Let's detonate these. We will get rid of this and this. We're going to get rid of all the stuff around this completely. Which means I need to actually get up here. I don't have any way of getting up here. That's a bit of a problem. Um, and what I want to do is, I wanted to leave. Two gap? That seems too far. Hold on. The one gap around all them, wasn't it? No. Uh, get rid of all this. Get, delete, delete the lot. Delete the lot. Okay. I'm going to probably regret this. I'm going to probably regret this. Get rid of that. 
Get rid of all these. Get rid of those. Get rid of all those in there. That. But don't leave those ones because that those I think are in the correct place. So we're gonna run down here. That doesn't want to be sealed there. I know that. I know that. That's fine. Um, and then this wants to come along here. And then we channel all the bad water into here. So we go... I need to... Blow up all that. Let's blow up all this. Up here. Blow up all that. Um, and then blow up all this as well. Get rid of those. Uh, is that right? I think that's right. There wants to be too deep, and then we want to put in uh, here. We want to put in double floodgates on there, because I want to be able to open the back end up if. We need to. Like if something. What was that game? What was that? Um. Okay, we are at the moment of truth here. Um. Uh, there's a bit of a cut there. Uh. That's because I was faffing around for ages trying to get this doing exactly what I want to do with explosives and destroying things and changing things. What lovely steps down. Look, stairs going down. Um. A bunch of ways. Uh, and I thought, you know what, that was 18 minutes of me building a box with buckets on the end. So, I'll, I'll cut that out. Um, so, yes, we are almost at the moment of truth. One day left. Now, will this work? Will this work? Will it pull down? Will it pour into here? Will it go along? And everything will be fine? Will it flood things? Will it explode in a big ball of fiery death? We will find out very, very soon. Very, very soon indeed. Um, I said, I'm not changing these to automatically turn on or off in... Um, on, on time or anything, we're not, we're not doing automation with these. It's purely, this is just here, if things go wrong, we can shut that, open that, get rid of the water, deal with it, turn around again. Yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. Will the plan work? Who knows? Let's find out. Let's find out. We're still on 30 times speed, so... There we go. And if it doesn't work this time around, that's fine, because, uh, well, we're, uh, <laughs> we're only dealing with normal water, so that shouldn't really be an issue at all. And it looks as if it's going to be just fine. It looks as if it's going to be absolutely just fine. There's a lovely, beautiful, smooth waterfall here. I am tempted to blow this up and be like 2 2 and it. So it's a. Uh, um, yeah, what's that? Show range. Oh, yes, the range. Um, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful water pouring down. No problem at all. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fantastic. And it's coming in here, it's filling up. These have turned on. They've automated, automatically enabled themselves. Fantastic. We'll be pumping the water again. And it's a lot quicker as well. Rather than having to go around and fill this hub reservoir here, a lot quicker for us. So, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So what we've got to do is make the channel here. Make the channel here. I don't think we're going to have another channel. I think this will be the last one. So the this, this, this here will be the last one. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, 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 there are mistakes. There's a mistake. There's a mistake. That's okay. It's not a terrible mistake. That's not a problem. That's not really a problem. Wow, it fills up our little thing. That's not a problem. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we can fix that later. That's not an issue at all. It might cause a little bit of flood in this end. Yep, it's going to cause a little bit of flood in this end. Ah, not that fast about it. It's fine. It'll be fine. No problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, you are no longer digging because you have nowhere to put your um, excavated water. So let's fill this area in. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's just literally come in here and go, hey, would you uh, fill in the hole? I can't remember exactly where. The thing. I think we'll just fill it all in and I'll blow it out again later. Let's go this way. I'm not going to blow up the um the the crossings either just yet. 
that crossing back in there. Uh, let's take out the one next to it. In fact, let's take out this one. Yep, well, and uh, we will just fill in underneath them. I'll leave the crossings in and then we can obviously do the crossings later and stuff. Not that need these crossings because they're fun, but yeah. Um, we got to fill this one in and take out loads of stuff as well. So let's just uh, let's just do it. Be done. Go 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 go. There's going to be a river here somewhere. Oh, the drought has started. That's nice. Um, I should probably actually not start them all at the end because beavers can work on them whatever side but uh doesn't really matter do this little area here as well and let's do that little area there as well awesome and then you can fill that all in and you'll get to it eventually and that'll be fine okay Okay, so it's just somewhere for our dirt to go. Simple as that. And then when these obviously slack down, um, we've got 34 spare beavers even with the pumps running. So without the run pumps running, we're going to have like 100 spare beavers. Um, so I could get some more builder's huts or something in. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Everything looks all right. Everything, I think everything's good. I think everything is good. Everything is wonderful. We are happy. And the game is running surprisingly well. I'm, I'm still getting, as you can see there, I'm still getting 30 frames a second. Um, a few people asked recently about what my computer is uh, for how I can run Timborn so well. Timborn is very much a CPU game. Um, it's not on your graphics card. It's not your graphics card. Yeah, obviously graphics card it has got graphics, but it's not on there. There's lots of calculations going on. Um, I am running a 7800X3D uh, Ryzen processor. So it's got everything that I need to do everything with it. Uh, with 32 gig of RAM. And it's just working. It's just beautiful absolutely beautiful so if if you're you're struggling with timberborn frame rates you can't really change the graphics to make it run better there's some things you can do with the graphics obviously you can drop them down and do things i would actually suggest you install um uh in, install the uh the range mod very much the very much because you see here if i go for a path I'll try a path in see my frame rate's just nice about 30. if i turn on the range so we can see the range it's, oh, it's still 30, but you you can definitely see as I move the mouse around. It, it's definitely, it, it, it stutters, it slows. So the range mod definitely will increase your frame rate. It's one that I know uh, Zuigi mentioned a couple of times. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. Um, I have the rotating sun mod as well, which does this whole night cycle. You see the shadows spinning around. See there? As the sun comes up, instead of it moving with the camera, the shadows come up. Boom. There you go, and then it starts going around, and the sun goes round, and and uh, I found that that actually makes performance better, which is bizarre. <laughs> when you think it's actually now doing movement channels rather than it leading locked to the camera, I don't. I have found that one genuinely increased my performance. So yeah, um, but okay, okay. I think everything is good and wonderful and fantastic. I'm just waiting for the water to drop back down again, so we can see. Um, oh, let's get rid of this. Uh, where are we? We are... Current depth is uh, 1.2 CS, so it's dropping down, which is fine. We need more water storage, but we're going to do that uh, over here. We're going to do the, the four water storages over there. And get to, get back to, to, to doing the things we were doing. Um, but we weren't right now, so yeah. Um, I don't know why I've got on both sides. I want to get rid of one of these, these connections uh, because we need to use one of these sides for storing berries and extract for the thing. So, so I can't have these working like this. So we have to get rid of one of these. Um, where are we going with this? Oh, your tracks are in power through. So um, do I want to have them all on the far side? I kind of do want to have them all on the far further side. I think. If we go up by one, that should do that. So yeah, so I think rather than having them here, they should all be on this side here. So let's just do that. Um, uh, oh, 
need to get rid of that one and that one. Oh, yeah, the power coming up. The power coming up. And then we have the power connecting across like that. There we have them. Okay. We'll run the power up to there, and then we'll get rid of these ones here. The power on the the furthest side from the the closest side to the sources, furthest from the exit. Um, and then we can put our little berries and little extract storage on the end there. And it can conform every single time. Every single time. And then we'll do it a third time here. Okay. I think we're going to leave this one here. They've all paused because the water has dropped down to less than zero. Yep, current of zero. So they've all paused. Awesome. Which is fantastic. So this is working. And this should work beautifully well when a bad tide comes along as well. This should just it and be fine and there'd be no issues whatsoever so yay 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 happy with that very very happy awesome 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 okay okay this can probably be paused at some point soon because it's going to reach its depth that it needs to um so yep i want to fill in loads of land over here as well this needs absolutely filling in how are we doing for we've got loads of scrap metal still sword we've got metal blocks i think we're full on metal blocks we are because we're not using them uh, we will use more up here for this um so yeah there's still stuff to come still things to go we need to block more over here which means i need a very good storage of extract um, might even put another extract um another centrifuge in uh let's do that let's put a uh, two in so we can we can get more extract going because extract we need for explosives and for our breeding so yeah yeah okay so let's get rid of that one let's get rid of that that and that Boom. there you go goodbye very very sorry um you've got two no you've got one water dump here one water dump there okay so that's fine um then we can do is we can put in our we've got that we can put in a mini warehouse there and a mini storage there the mini storage can be for extract and be obtained and you can be for berries and be obtained are you two set to obtain yes okay and then that can source for these ones here so awesome okay and then we'll just do the channel here cool right thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again in the next one until then as always have fun